Hey guys, welcome back. I hope your 2018 is off to a great start. I'd like to kick off this year with a new study that just came out that looked at a low branch chain amino acid diet and it found that it improved metabolic health. Um, it promoted leanness and it improved blood sugar regulation. Now this ties in with a lot of my videos in, in relation to um, a plant-based diet having dilute proteins. So uh, plant proteins tend to have lower branch chain amino acid levels as well as essential amino acids, right? That's one of the caveats, right? We're not getting complete proteins. Well, that may, that may actually be a good thing because it's going to, um, you're not going to have as much of an anabolic response in the body. And many studies are finding that having high levels of branched chain amino acids circulating or even just total amino acids circulating in the body is associated with insulin resistance, um, diabetes, increased diabetes risk, and so forth. And the studies will be down below in the video description. But this study that just came out kind of just adds to what I've been speaking of in my videos. And in, my la in one of my recent videos where I compared a high fiber diet to high protein diet, I discussed how leucine, one of the branched chain amino acids, may reduce food intake by activating mTOR, right? So it's your body's way of trying to uh, counterbalance an, uh, you know, an overly anabolic signal by sim stimulating a catabolic signal via reduced food intake, okay? Fiber does, fiber satiates, I believe, in a more basal, healthy, balanced way compared to high protein diet. So essentially guys, what's interesting is there was, e there was actually a study that looked at a 48 hour vegan challenge and they, and they concluded that there was a health promoting branch chain amino acid associated metabolic signature that was produced from a short-term healthy controlled vegan diet compared uh, with a healthy controlled omnivorous diet. Now that's fascinating because as I mentioned in my video, there's been a branched chain amino acid metabolic signature that's been correlated with the Western uh, metabolic signature, which is elevated branched chain amino acid levels. I touch on this in a video I made in 2017, or 2016, I'm sorry, comparing a high carb diet to a high protein diet and which is more effective at building muscle, okay? I highly recommend you check out that video and I'll go ahead and card it here. Um, but with that guys, um, I also want to um, add that there was a study that found that in omnivores, um, they actually compared vegans and omnivores on a branched chain amino acid diet. And in the omnivores, they found that there was an increased expression of lipogenic genes. This kind of supports my systemic signaling uh, theory in that it, it's not just the, the calories, it's the quality of calories we consume and how those calories can have, can have signals in the body or, or, or what's known as crosstalk where, yes, branched chain amino acids can help to promote protein synthesis and build muscle, but they're an anabolic signal. So it's not, just, it's not like the branched chain amino acid exclusively just is going to build muscle. It may perhaps have uh, a crosstalk effect in the way of increasing body fat as well, or, per, per, or at worst and possibly abnormal uh, cell metabolism or, or cell production. So this is, so what does this mean? Well, you know how some people who try and build muscle uh, will also build some fat, so your weight goes up, and it's not just muscle we're building, we're also building body fat too, right? It could be caloric surplus, high protein diet, whatnot. So there, there's a lot to this, guys. Um, I've made videos on, on, I made a video on high protein diet and whether it's truly harmless. I know the research is inconclusive and I know that we need more future research, but I like to heat, I like to heat on the side of caution of things. Um, so with that guys, uh, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and thank you guys for watching. Tune in next time.